What will drive the adoption of smart glasses? Technical functionalities? Sure, they're a must. But user comfort is the crucial decision maker. From the first sketches, we kept the operator in mind, so we made some radical choices. This is the story of our award-winning smart safety glasses. From the very beginning of the project, we really involved uh, experts regarding uh, design of glasses, uh, experts from the mechanical uh, field. Uh, and we, uh, we, we worked together really intensely, really closely, to achieve a set of glasses and not another piece of electronics. What is super belangrijk is, is draagconsort. Daar start alles mee, gekoppeld aan een design die toch tijdloos is, die unisex is, een stukje karakter, persoonlijkheid, maar tegelijkertijd ook qua positionering en zoveel meer uh, ja, beantwoorden aan, aan al die type gezicht. A good design is a design that takes in consideration all the stakeholders around the product and the whole life cycle of the product. That can be manufacturing, that can be serviceability, that could be the end user. Obviously with a wearable like the ear stick, it's the, the end user is the most important stakeholder and a good design is something that does all that and looks good too. As a first aspect, of course, uh, it, it has to be wearable for the operator and not just for making two pictures, but it has to be wearable for a full shift. That means it needs to be really balanced on the head, low weight, low heat uh, and very comfortable uh, to wear. The only way to scan a barcode in a decent way is to use an optical zoom lens and that's exactly what we embedded in, uh, in the Iris Z1 glasses. So it's the first smart glass in the world which really embeds a times 5 optical zoom module uh, in front of the secondary scanner. There are also a laser pointer to select the barcode and a flash LED to make sure there's sufficient light on the barcode to decode it. The design of the glasses was, was completely, not dictated, but it was, it was helped along by 3D printing throughout the whole process. From the beginning point, we started prototyping just real quick forms to see what kind of space we have, what kind of space we need for the different components, um, seeing if it was comfortable, and, and that was an iterative process the whole time. We were printing new things every week, and uh, it was a, without 3D printing, we wouldn't have been able to do it so quickly. To achieve the minimal weight, uh, to achieve the right point of balance, uh, to have these nose pads, bendable ear tips, all these small things, all these pieces together, uh, they make that this actually is becoming a, a set of glasses.